Reviews play a significant role in a person's decision on whether to buy from you or someone else. And unfortunately, whenever we launch a new product, it has zero reviews. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five ways you can get reviews that won't get you banned on Amazon, including two secret strategies that me and my students use that I'm positive that you haven't seen before. Okay, so because Amazon has become extremely strict on enforcing their review policy to prevent sellers from gaming the system to get fake reviews, we need to be very careful implementing any review strategies so that you don't get caught or worse, have your selling privileges revoked. So let's take a look at Amazon's guidelines first and see what they specifically say that you can and cannot do. If we take a look at Amazon selling policies and seller code of conduct page, I'll leave a link to this page in the description below if you wanna read more about it on your own. It says, you may not attempt to influence or inflate customers' ratings, feedback, and reviews. You may request feedback and reviews from your own customers in a neutral manner, but may not pay for or offer an incentive such as coupons or free products in exchange for providing or removing feedback or reviews. Ask customers to write only positive reviews or ask them to remove or change a review. Solicit reviews only from customers who had a positive experience. Review your own products or a competitor's product. And although it doesn't say it here, it also includes having your friends and family leave you a review. Okay, so if you're launching a new product, you don't have any reviews and that will seriously affect your sales and product launch. So how do you get your initial reviews? Well, the first thing you do is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It lets YouTube know that you found value in this video and to show it to more people just like you and I would really appreciate it, so thank you. And my name is Crescent. If you want to learn more about selling on Amazon and connect with me, as well as surround yourself with other like-minded sellers, join my Amazon Facebook group. It's one of the largest with over 30,000 members. You can find a link in the description below. Okay, now with that said, let's first go over a few black hat methods of getting reviews. These are strategies that are 100% against Amazon's terms of service, but I'll show you that if you're very careful and follow some specific strategies, you can get away with it. The first and most obvious way is to have your friends and family leave you a review. Again, it's strictly forbidden as I went over earlier. However, if you're the type of person that's a little less risk averse, then you can have your friends and family leave you a review if you follow these specific guidelines. First, be aware that in order for someone to leave reviews on Amazon, their Amazon account must have already spent at least $50 on Amazon. So if you want to use your friends and family, make sure that they've made enough purchases first. Also make sure that you've never shared the same Wi-Fi, don't live in the same household, don't have the same last name, don't live in the same zip code, and aren't friends on Facebook. Basically anything that can connect you two together online. And remember, you have to make this appear to look like a real review, so your friend or family members must buy your product. And make sure that they wait a few days or a week after they received the product before leaving the review. It's a huge red flag if they don't buy your product or if they leave a review before the product has even been received. How can someone comment on a product if they haven't received it yet and had a chance to use it? And a pro tip here, don't just have your friends and family write you some random review. You know your product best and what all of its features and benefits and competitive advantage is, so you write the review and have them post it. Also take some photos and video and have them posted alongside the review so that other potential buyers can see even more information about your product. And also keep in mind, the average sales to review ratio is around 1%. That means for every 100 sales, you might get around one review. So don't go crazy getting reviews from your friends and family all at once. Again, it's a huge red flag if you suddenly get 10 sales and all 10 buyers leave you a review. Okay, another black hat method is to get reviews from Amazon related Facebook groups or review trading specific groups. I actually highly discourage you from doing this. Don't underestimate the reach Amazon has. They've infiltrated a lot of these groups and communities and they will shut down sellers that they find using this strategy. Now, if you don't believe me, you can actually do a search on Facebook or Google and you'll find countless stories of people getting caught using this method. You've been warned. All right, before moving on, let's actually go over some gray hat strategies that you can employ. The first is using review services that offer buyers deals on products where the buyers kind of know ahead of time that they should leave a review. Services like Jungle Scout's Jump Send or Rebate Key. 
These services are extremely easy to use and set up, and I'll be honest, I've used them before in the past, and they do get you reviews, and rather quickly sometimes. However, I also know that Amazon has been frowning on these types of services and cracking down on them too, so use them at your own risk. And a second and even more powerful gray hat strategy is a method that I personally developed and use with excellent results. I'll go over this method at the end of the video. But first, let's talk about some white hat strategies. These are strategies that get reviews that are 100% legitimate and Amazon doesn't have any problems with you using them. The first method, which is the best and easiest way to get your initial reviews, is by using Amazon's own Vine program. The Vine program is where you can offer your products for free to trusted reviewers on Amazon and they'll leave you a detailed review in return. However, they may not always be positive though, so you wanna make sure your product is top notch, high quality and doesn't have any defects. The Vine program is available to sellers that have the following prerequisites. You must be a professional selling partner. You must have registered a brand in Amazon brand registry. You must be identified as a brand owner. You must have eligible FBA offers and your products must meet the following criteria. Be brand registered in Amazon brand registry. Have fewer than 30 reviews on the product detail page. Have a buyable FBA offer in the new condition. It cannot be an adult product, digital, or heavy and bulk item. Have already launched at the time of enrollment. Have available inventory. Have an image and a description. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below if you wanna learn more about it. Okay, now a second method is by using insert cards. An insert card is a card that you include inside your packaging alongside your product that typically has more information about your product, warranty details, or any marketing or ads that you wanna mention. It may also thank the buyer for their purchase, or in this case, ask them to leave a review. If you've ever purchased anything from Amazon or any other online store, you've most certainly seen these before. Now, you can't just put anything onto these insert cards. Amazon has strict guidelines on what you can and cannot do. You can see here that it says, Amazon's policies prohibit box inserts and product packaging that direct customers to write a positive review, even if no incentive is offered for their review. That means you can't specifically ask the buyer to only leave a positive review. It also says, similarly, directing customers to contact you instead of leaving a negative review on Amazon is also prohibited. Please ensure your product packaging and box inserts are compliant with these policies before shipping your products to a fulfillment center or to customers. So basically, what that means is you can ask them to leave a review, as you can see in this example here, it doesn't specifically ask them to only leave a positive review or a five-star review. Now I have a video that goes into detail on how to use this strategy specifically, and I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. And a third white hat method to get your initial reviews is of course, organically. That simply means getting reviews by generating sales. Remember, the average sales to review ratio is around 1%. So for every 100 sales, you can expect to get around one review. Now, I know what you're thinking. 100 sales, that's a lot, it's gonna take forever. Well, not really. If you're expecting to sell eight to 10 units a day, that's approximately 100 sales every 10 days. So you can expect to get at least one review every 10 days or so. Slow and steady wins the race and won't raise any red flags. You can also help boost your sales by running aggressive PPC campaigns. PPC, which stands for pay per click, is Amazon's advertising system where sellers can bid on keywords to have their product ads displayed in the search results. These are the listings that you see that say sponsored next to them. By running aggressive PPC campaigns or offering promotions or coupons, you can boost your sales to help you get more reviews in the process. You can learn more about how to do PPC, promotions, or coupons by clicking the link in the description below. And of course, when you have sales, Amazon gives you the ability of sending email reminders to your buyers asking them to leave a review. You can access this option in your order history. However, keep in mind, Amazon already sends out reminders automatically on your behalf and you can only send one reminder. All right, now I wanna show you two powerful secret review strategies that you won't find anywhere else. The first is an extension to using insert cards. The problem with insert cards is that most people will just take a look at it and then toss it away in the garbage. There's no incentive for the buyer to leave you a review. However, with my strategy, it's so powerful because we're not going to ask them to leave a review on the insert card. Instead, we're gonna offer the buyer a free gift. All they have to do to claim it is to visit my website. You can either offer them an extra unit of what they bought for free, 
or a free Amazon gift card. The easiest being a gift card since you can just email a digital Amazon gift card instead of having to pay to send a package in the mail. And as you can see here on my website, after going through a few quick and easy steps to gather their information to claim their free gift, not only do we get their contact info so that we can advertise and sell to them directly in the future, contact details that Amazon doesn't provide to you, on the final step, it also asks them to leave a review. Now, how to employ this exact strategy is beyond the scope of this video, but if you wanna learn more about how to do it, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below. All right, and lastly, the second secret strategy to get your initial reviews is by using online review websites. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's jump onto Amazon and let's take a look at this ceramic soap dish sold by Lofekia. Now, if we do a search for soap dishes, we can see that their product is actually sold here and it's on the first page. Okay, so now if we jump onto Google and do a search for soap dish reviews, we can see a list of websites that have a lineup of top soap dishes. And if we jump onto this website, for example, we can see that that ceramic soap dish made by Lofekia is the number one rated soap dish. And not only that, if we scroll down, we can see that this wood soap dish ranked number two can also be found on Amazon and it just happens to also be on the first page of the search results. And the number three soap dish made out of bamboo, no surprise here, it's also on the first page on Amazon. So how can this help you get reviews? Basically, these review sites are top websites in their niches and they get tons of traffic as you can see here. If you contact the site owners of these top review websites in your niche and get them to list and review your product on their websites, it'll help drive a ton of traffic and sales for you. More sales means more opportunities to get reviews. And these site owners are incentivized to do so because if we take a look back on this review site, you'll notice next to each review, there's a link to buy the product on Amazon. And guess what? These are affiliate links. If someone clicks on that button and buys the product or anything else on Amazon, the site owner gets a small commission for that referral. Now again, going into the specifics of this strategy is beyond the scope of this video, but I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna learn more about how to do it. Again, I wanna make absolutely clear that Amazon takes review manipulation very seriously. If you decide to do any of the black or gray hat methods, you must follow the strategies that I laid out here. If you get caught, in the best case scenario, the review won't get posted. However, in the worst case scenario, you risk having your listing shut down or your selling privileges revoked altogether. And the minimum ban is 12 days or a full account suspension. Also keep in mind that Amazon tracks your review history. If you get three unverified reviews in a single day, Amazon will block that ASIN from receiving any additional unverified reviews. And if you get six to eight verified reviews in a single day, Amazon will block that ASIN from receiving any additional verified reviews. Remember, the average sales to review ratio is around 1%, so try to stick to that. Amazon knows this and is monitoring your review rate, and if it goes over this ratio, they'll take action to stop any fraudulent reviews. And if you're not sure what a verified or unverified review is, a verified review is a review left by someone that purchased the item at close to full price. These reviews will say verified next to the review, as you can see here. Whereas an unverified review is a review left by someone that got the product for free, at a huge discount, or didn't actually buy the product from you at all. These are the reviews that don't say verified purchase next to them. Okay, if you wanna learn more about selling on Amazon and connect with me, join my Amazon Facebook group. Over 30,000 people already have. There's a link right over here.